exhibition that that is called um, Hashtag Us to Phenomenal Woman. And the ideal of the, of the exhibition is to give black women in particular a voice, <laughs> to give, give, give us a voice that we matter, that we're worthy, that we're not going anywhere, um, that we are unapologetically going to speak our truth, and that there is room for everyone to shine. I think you said some, some some key words that I always say to my tribe. Mm -hmm. We're, we always talk, we call my vibe my tribe because I feel like you said everybody needs a tribe. Yes. You, you, yes. you, you know, the one to feel acceptance, but uh, it's a womanist theologian and excuse the language, but she says you always need somebody who can hold your shit. Yes. 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 <laughs> and yes. everybody needs that yes. because, you know, we all, like you said, there, we all go through things in our lives and we don't want to feel like we're going through those things alone and sometimes like you said you know even even those who are related by blood i can't call and tell yes. them exactly. the type yes. of things that i can tell my my yes. tribe you know exactly. those, I, you know i have yes. some but for the most part there are people who are not related to me yes. that get their real exactly. you know because exactly. you got all, all the kind of responsibilities yes. with your family yes but um i think I, again i commend you on the space that you created because like you said you created this space not only just for yourself and the other artists, but as you can hear, for other women to come in and experience that space, and I think that's important. And for me, I, I've, I don't, uh, you know, I've had experiences where I felt like people didn't do, they didn't, well, I, I come from a family who's a, my, my mother never locked the door growing up, like that was our house, because people always were like, always in our house, so like I come from a welcoming family, like you just, that's what you do to people. You know? right. And so when I when I had those experiences, because I can remember like when I first went to law school, we were I was at a majority white law school, and you know the upper uh, black law students were supposed to mentor the ones right. coming. Mine never met with me one time. Wow. Right. So I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> like you're not. So for me, I'm like, you know, with somebody when I have those type of experiences, I'm going to make sure, like you, that the people who come after me don't get that type of experience right. so is it like i was like i'm gonna make sure that each black student that comes to this law school next year is gonna have somebody who's gonna connect with them and you know at all costs but also because like where i am now like she was talking about the gathering when we created the gathering it was to create space um for, for people to gather but for black women to be able to preach mm -hmm. because here in dallas there's a lot of poopies women can't preach in period yeah. And then when you start talking about black women, that's a whole yes. other, you know, yes. and then we, we're womanist preachers, so we're saying some stuff that a lot of people here in Dallas definitely yeah. not really <laughs> open to. And so, but recognizing that there are people out there who need that space oh, to yeah. be able to, to have those opportunities to preach to, and for people to hear that type of preaching. Oh, yeah. And so, for me, the gathering is the space that I feel like I'm trying, we're trying to create to make sure women's voices can, black women's voices can be heard. Yes. And they can, and people can come and feel welcomed, you know, um, like, I, I, I would hate for anybody to feel like they came to the gathering and felt it, like that, that's, yeah. that would kill me, yeah. to feel excluded in a place like exactly. that, yeah. My experience was with my family, you said your family's always welcoming, even though I'm like, it's super opposite, mm -hmm. doors locked, <laughs> don't trust nobody new and don't half of the time don't trust each other and I do like agree with the rumor <laughs> mill. like I my sister um, she makes it a thing like she don't tell nobody in my family nothing like literally she's like a super spy in the family like, what destiny at? <laughs> she was like, right <laughs> off. I was like, why you not tell nobody where you at? She was like, not safe. It's not safe. I was like, not safe. What do you mean? She was like, everybody don't even know everything. I was like, you right. Um, but in a way, it gave me, I don't know, um, a different experience outside of my family. Because in high school, <laughs> Somebody noticed was like, 
it was my senior year, we were sitting at the lunch table. She was like, Diamond, you friends with everybody, ain't you? And I was like, no. I was like, I just talked to different people. <laughs> and then I sat and thought, and she was like, she was like, you talk to the, she's like, you talk to the basketball players, the football players. She was like, you, you even talk to some really questionable people, questionable people um, that I will not say on camera. But <laughs> she was like, you talk to the nerds. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? I was like, cause it didn't like click in my brain that those were even classifications that was happening around me. I was like, I'm just talking to people. And I was like, I was like, I, if that's what you notice, I was like, every, everybody needs a friend. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like, and I, sometimes I do feel bad because I'm really inclusive. Like you said, um, when another person walks into the uh, conversation, I make sure I acknowledge them. Even if they do say something and everybody else around them goes past it, I always come back and like, what were you saying <laughs> before? And sometimes I do feel bad because like I want to be inclusive to my white friends and but I was having a conversation with my best friend and she was like, Sometimes it's it's a time and a place and some spaces just aren't are just like sacred. And I was like, Yeah, I understand. So most of the time I just try to be inclusive to all people.